Hello everybody, let's take a look at the uh, sample uh, web servers uh, project that uh, is provided on the Manifold Viewer download page. <clears throat> let's start by clicking, what we have is the Manifold Viewer desktop, let's start by clicking File, Open, and then we're going to get this one, the ArcGIS REST servers. It opens instantly, and uh, what, these, what these are is a collection of uh, web servers that automatically uh, send tiles down to our uh, to our application. Uh, Viewer is uh, based on Radiant technology. Viewer is read-only, but nonetheless it can still use uh, all the thing, many of the things you can do in Radiant Studio. Uh, and one of them is to very quickly and easily use uh, web servers such as Google Maps and Bing and so forth to create a display. So let's take a look at some of these. For example, the uh, what's this? The Canvas Dark, uh, base, dark Gray Base Map. We can open up uh, one of these uh, web servers by uh, expanding, clicking on the plus button to turn into minus to expand, and then we open up the image. And we can see that what we get here is an image that anywhere we go in the world it will uh, bring tiles in from the web server. And uh, the speed of the display here is is caused by how fast tiles can come in from the web server. It's like visiting anything on the web. If the web server is fast and you have a fast internet connection, well then you're going to get faster action. Uh, so uh, how can we use these things? Let's, uh, we use them typically as backdrops, as background maps for other sorts of data. To see how that's done, and here there's a wide list of all sorts of different things. Uh, to see how that's done, let's, let's create an example. Let's, uh, let's create a map, click on New Map, and I'm going to open that map. A map is a structure in uh, Radiant stuff where uh, it has layers, and we're going to add to this the first layer is going to be the canvas world dark gray base and layers appear here at the bottom as layers tabs now I'm going to do something cool, I'm going to open up a second viewer session uh, you can't see it because it's outside of the frame but I'm going to, I'm going to launch it second uh, viewer and uh, let's put that here and now let's open up a different project uh, let's open up uh, file open this is the archaeology France sample project that was uh, discussed in one of the other videos. And uh, if I take a look here, I can... Oh, these are Chromex, those are Dell. Let's look at uh, Dolmen. Here we go. Here's an example of Dolmen located all throughout France that have been formatted. A Dolmen is a Neolithic uh, monument. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the Dolmen drawing and the Dolmen table. I have to get both because the table contains the data for the drawing. And I'm going to click here on copy. Now I'm going to switch to my other session here. And I'll click... Uh, paste. And what we've just done is we've uh, copied the Dolman drawing in the Dolman table from the other project. Uh, uh, unlike uh, older software, <laughs> I bet you wish you could do this in ArcGIS Pro, right? You can have as many uh, versions of Manifold Viewer, or Radian, uh, or Manifold stuff running as you like, and you can copy and paste between them. So uh, let's take this Dolman drawing and we're going to drag it and drop it into this uh, map over top of the uh, the uh, canvas world uh, display. So you can see wh how we're using that as a reference map. Uh, let's use uh, something else like the Delorme world base map here. We're going to take that and we're going to drag and drop that as a layer into the map as well. There, now we're bringing the Delorme image in. Many of these uh, servers are provided by Esri, which is a, a fine despite my crack at about the ArcGIS Pro, which uh, produces very fine GIS software. And uh, Esri operates a lot of servers that provide data. For example, here's the Esri World Street Map. That's also a tile server. Oops, I've got to get that in order above the Delorme layer. So that's the layer we want. And now we're looking at the, the Delorme, the uh, Esri World Street Map layer. Let's go around here near... Uh, Oh, there's a lot of cool Dolmen located. Angier and Tours and Samer and all those places. Okay, so uh, if I turn this layer off, we can, we're looking at Delorme. If I turn that layer off, we're looking at Canvas. Let's turn the Esri Street Map layer back on. Uh, and there's just endless numbers of uh, servers that you can uh, connect to uh, uh, Manifold Viewer or Teradian Studio. 
And where did all these servers come from? This particular project that we opened, you can download from the uh, download page of the uh, uh, the Manifold Viewer download site. Uh, and uh, here there's a handy comment that says URLs used. So uh, to find these, for example, Esri World Street Map, here it is. Let's uh, copy this link, click copy, and now I'm going to open up Edge. And uh, here we're going to paste and go. And that's the website, that's the, that's the web page where we uh, got this uh, server from uh, in the ArcGIS REST services directory. And you know, we use Google or some other browser, Bing, or whatever you like to find uh, web servers like this. Uh, this talks about what the description is, worldwide street map, presents highway level data for the world, da 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 da. And uh, what we want is we want the links to uh, connect to that. And invariably, usually these are found in some easy to spot location like up here. And here we see WMTS. Cool. So we're going to right click on that and then choose, uh, okay, how are we going to do that? Copy link. All right, so now we've copied the link. Let's go back to a uh, viewer and I'm going to right click, right click, uh, let's, let's do this, file, create, new data source and we're going to create a data source. We're going to create a data source uh, from all the different web servers that Radian knows how to use. We want to find one that uses the uh, format, in this case WMTS, that we're that, that particular web page uses. So we're going to click on that and then I'm going to click that uh, connection string paste the connection string into there. Create, click, cre and let's give this a name. Example uh, server. Okay, cool. Create data source. And a new data source called example server appears. If I put the uh, mouse over it and hover over it, it'll tell us the connection string that we're using. And when we expand that, we see that it expands into a variety of options. World street map. Google Maps compatible, that sounds promising. Double click that open. And there you see that is indeed the web server that we've been using. In fact, uh, we can prove it's the same thing by clicking open that map that we had. Here it sees it as a street map. And now let's click our example, let's put our example server in there. And you can see it's the uh, same thing. But both tiles are coming from exactly, uh, sets of tiles are coming from exactly the same server. Uh, to take a look at any of these others that are, are of interest, for example, um, ah, world imagery, that sounds cool. Let's do world imagery. Drop that in as a layer. Oh, that's hill shade. Wrong one. World imagery is down here. Let's get rid of some of these layers. Simplify this. So let's uh, zoom into the imagery. See how detailed this stuff really is. We'll zoom into Samir. I don't know why, but I've been using the Samir Fortress as an example. And there we go. There's the uh, Great Fortress at Samir. As you can see, uh, there's endless uh, servers that are available that'll provide you with uh, tiles on demand for just about any location on Earth and just about any sort of theme that you that you might be interested in using. Uh, and all of it is accessible using uh, either Manifold Viewer or our Radiant Studio. Now, to save what we've just done here, of course, if we wanted to save things like this uh, map that we created, uh, which uses uh, uh, pretty images of Dolmen on top of a... Uh, zoom out. Pretty images of Dolmen on top of, uh, uh, say, the Canvas Dark uh, display. Uh, you can't do that in Viewer because Viewer is read-only to uh, save presentations like this that we might cobble up. Uh, we're going to need Radiant Studio. You can actually buy that and then, then you can of course save these projects as however you'd like. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, 
uh, we can use a viewer nonetheless to do what the name says. We can use it to uh, view data sets and to browse and see those data sets in context. And we can, as I demonstrated here, open up multiple sessions of viewer and copy and paste between them. Uh, let's see what else might be cool here. Uh, how about uh, men here? There we go. We can copy and paste things from here. Copy and paste. And now let's throw the men here's on there as well on top of the Dolman drawing. So those are all the men here's. So we can use Viewer to view all this stuff. We can do all this for free. Uh, and uh, that's uh, truly convenient and fascinating and fun uh, to browse the world's uh, data, data sets. So I hope you've enjoyed the demonstration. And uh, goodbye from Radian Land. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. Uh, as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.